Hello, Bob. Uh, I'm glad to get back with you here and enjoyed sitting with you yesterday and talking about some of your family photos. The first thing I'd like to do is just kind of casually get inside the photo. So what I'm going to do is a close-up. And uh, let's start over here by kind of looking at some of your relatives and uh, get a little idea of what they look like. Now I'm going to blow this up and hopefully it's not going to be too large. And we'll just kind of scoot through. Let me try one more. Let's try it one more time. There we go. I think we might be... Let's try it one more time just for the heck of it. And see if we can really get in and take a look at them. Uh, this is the first gentleman we'll just kind of take a peek at. And I've also gone through and looked at different hats. And I think this is what they called a bowler. B-O-W-L-E-R. And supposedly this was worn in the 1800s. And one of the uh, things that I've noticed is also is what they call a band collar that you can see right around the neck area right here that's popular also today. And I'm going to try one more time of zooming in and see if we can really get a close-up and kind of take it from there. That might be a little bit much, so let's take it out one time. Take it out one more time. Well, let's, try, let's try it up one more time. Let's try that. And we'll move off to your right to take a look at the lady to the right. And uh, she looked happy. <laughs> she has some really penetrating eyes that we can see a little bit of. And let's get over and take a peek at the next person. Now this little girl, now I'm going to shrink this down just a hair and uh, the one thing that I found interesting and I'm trying to find is this particular hat that she's wearing and I'm curious, excuse me, I've looked into the hat section and so far I, I have not been able to find anything that has come up about what type of hat this might be. She's an attractive young lady, nice pigtail, and she's looking at somebody that's not in the camera. So let's move over to the next gentleman, young man, and I think what we're looking at here are just the older hats that most young men wore at that time, and there's a lot of damage as you can see around the eye which is missing right around in this area. Now we're going to move over to the gentleman at the top here. And that seems to be a hat also that was pretty popular in the late 1800s. Uh, again, we'll bring up and you can see that this gentleman is also wearing the band collar. And he has a very, something that might show up in other photographs as you notice is the facial feature of the mouth how it's very straight on that end. Now I'm going to move over to the gentleman uh, that's on the uh, trailer, on the not the trailer, but the buck wagon, I guess you would call it, something like that. And as we're scooting through here, you can see the different damages will be taken care of, a lot of the spots, some molding starting to take place. And Let's get over here to, we can see the tops of the horses here, and also, excuse me, this is taking so long to scoot this, but I have blown it up so large. Here's a little boy. Now, he reminds me a lot of one of the characters on Spanky in our game, and he became a famous movie star, and I'm just curious if this might be uh, some of the same little child here, and we're going to move this up just a hair. So you can get an idea of their hands. And you can see this gentleman has massive hands. Just really large hands. And let's take it up to uh, the gentleman himself. And bring this in. Now, you can see there's going to have to be some corrections made here. Piece back together and taken from there. Uh, this guy has a little bit of... Uh, uh, Earnhardt, Earnhardt and that mustache, the race car driver, and hopefully 
we'll get all this back together for you into something that you can really appreciate. Now I'm going to kind of take us out of this picture a little bit. And also I'd like to remind you that you'll see an area just below the picture and it said it can be viewed on YouTube also. You can go to YouTube uh, by clicking on that and it will take you there and then you can see uh, in the volume controls and everything to your right you'll see a little square that you can click on and this will enlarge to your screen size so that's kind of interesting that uh, to kind of get into something like that now we're going to bring it in and just kind of take a peek around the picture it's kind of interesting to see that this is how just in a hundred years how we've moved <laughs> in this country from a horse drawn and we're thinking about now going back to the moon so all good things I guess you could say I want to bring us down here a little bit and back to the original picture and that should do it like I said you can go to YouTube by clicking on the uh, can be viewed by in YouTube and you can enlarge this to a full screen size I hope you've enjoyed this presentation real quick about looking at some of your relatives and I'll get started on your restoration as soon as possible. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye now.